shouldn't have done it, but I did it. And here we are. All right, well, we are here in Maryland today, and we are in Frederick, sitting outside the Goodwill on West Patrick Street. I have not had very good luck today. This is my fourth Goodwill of the day. I have left two Goodwills empty-handed. <laughs> so, I am two, one for three. Is that is that how that works? Um, but I'm hoping that you know this is it. This is gonna be this is gonna be it today. This is this is the one. This is the one. So we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right. Well, there are two fresh carts over there, so maybe this is the one. <laughs> Book forty-nine for the puppy dog. Wow, I can't even really hardly get down the aisles today. It's a little, a little full in here. I'm gonna do my best. Um, all right. I didn't see much in the carts, which means that they have been unloaded onto the shelves. So maybe we will find something on the shelves. Goodness, is that adorable or what? It's a piggy bank. <laughs> that just has the cuteness factor, really. How much is it? Five dollars and forty-nine cents. I will stick that in there. Oh my gosh! I just noticed that it has a broken leg. <laughs> That's the second time I've done that today. I'm really excited about a puppy dog, and then I realize it's broken. In the world are these things? Whatever it is, there is a lot of them. I don't see any glassy babies though. This thing is weird. Right over here, the bottom shelf is mostly jars. What is this kitty? I like the kitty cat. Echo Consignments Cat and Basket Teapot. Must be it didn't sell at the consignment store and they decided to donate it to Goodwill. Um, crystal Sugar. Crystal Head Vodka. Pair hmm. one, fifteen dollars. This face always gets me. I feel like they always pick it up. It's always pure one. Just like that red. Oops. This is running into me with their cart. <laughs> oh gosh. What is that? DB. I just like the design of that. Where is a chicken? Pretty light ceramic. I don't know if that would be Czechoslovakia. Could be Japan. The bottom's covered up. Put a succulent in that, but it's probably I'm like, well, it's probably a creamer. You might want to put cream in there, but you could also put a succulent in it. There's no reason you couldn't. This is fancy. That's probably Turkish coffee. Opal. Hmm. She's got a chip in her head, though. She's missing her Jesus. Oh, there's a whole set of these. Look at that. That's fancy. Look. A whole set of Turkish coffee cups. I don't know why they're Turkish coffee cups. That's just what they are. It's just the style, this tall, um, handleless style. Um, I think they usually come with stirrers, but I could be mistaken. Spotted something back there through the aisle. Let's pull that out. I think that's, yeah, Poppy Trail. Um, that matches the pattern of a set I saw at Hanover. And I actually looked it up. I think it's called Colonial. I looked it up when I was there and it didn't sell her very much, so I don't think oh, I'm going to take that. This looks like it has a nice shape to it. Mid-century style. There's only one though. What does it say? International. Probably international silver plate. $2.49. I like the color of this. This is $2.49. I forget who makes this. I feel like this is pretty commonly found in like a white satin, but I like it in blue. 
I'm tempted to buy it in blue. It's $2.49. We'll stick it in there. There is a pretty uh, teapot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the lid out of there. Let's see. Taiwan CBK. I feel like I had a whole set of that once a long, long time ago when we were still listing on the back porch. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I determined that I was going to find something and I have been circling the shelves. <laughs> and I saw this and I'm like, that looks familiar. Sure enough, it's marked on the bottom. I can't remember what the mark is though. I think it's France. Is it, um, mm -hmm. what is the mark though? Man, I know I've seen it. I know I've sold it. It's marked art, something France, $6.50. I don't see any chips or cracks on that. I'm gonna uh, stick it in here. I have to remember to put that dog back too. Bummed about the dog. I have to remember to put him back. To want to. I feel like I kind of have to. I'm trying to steer clear of stuff that's broken and damaged. I've been a lot better about it. I feel like you guys need to give me credit for that. I've been a lot better about it. Mm. It just looks like somebody took some <laughs> Elmer's glue and gave that a little texture. Torino Collection. Not excited. All right, there's a well that looks like it could be Capitamonte, but chances are the flower, yeah, <laughs> the flowers have breakage on them. I kind of like the looks of those mixing bowls. Something tells me that they're all pretty separate. I should clarify in saying I like the looks of them for myself, <laughs> not for resale. <laughs> I like them. I don't really have any mixing bowls. I mean, I have my Pyrex ones, but those are kind of special, so. Um, I need a good set of mixing bowls. This is interesting. This looks like it's got some age to it. It's very heavy one, one hander. What does it say? Does it say Japan? No, it says USA. Ooh, very heavy. Let's see what else we got down here. I see some goofus glass. This plate down here looks like it could be interesting. What is that? That is Puppy Trail. That looks California. I don't know, I might look that one up. That one's got a chicken on it. You can serve your chicken on that plate. Um, so I just picked this up because this is like heavy, heavy crystal. And I've been staring at the bottom for way too long trying to look for a Waterford mark because it just feels the part. But also I know there's other companies that make crystal. I don't know. I figured I'd come over here and look and see if maybe there was a sugar bowl that went with it. Just because it was such high quality that maybe I could find a sugar bowl and then I could have a set. I just don't know if it would be open sugar or if it would be a sugar sugar. Mm, all the clear glass just has a tendency to blend together. <laughs> I'm just not seeing anything, so I think I'm going to leave it. So I just don't know who makes it. Those are nice. Are those the sandwich pattern? It's that. There's no plural. Okay, let's move on. Let's just go see what's on that cart. And then I'm going to look up the poppy trail platter, and I'm probably going to move on from there. I feel like that's the right thing to do. I'm wasting too much time hanging around on hope. Okay, there you go. That's all we've got. <laughs> Blenders, vacuums, that's all. All right, so I'm gonna look up this Poppy Trail chicken platter. Oh, it's $14.49. You better hope it's something good, otherwise it's going back. Okay, well they are asking $14.49. The last one sold for $5. <laughs> and there is someone asking $20. So, that falls somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I just can't do that. Oops. He's probably more contemporary, but I'll grab him. I'm so excited. I knew if I waited long enough, they'd wheel out a fresh cart. Fishy, fishy. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. This is the moment I was waiting for. And you guys know it. Let's see what else I can find. 
a little art pottery. I like the looks of that planner back there, but I don't think it would have messed with it. Well, they built out the first cart. I grabbed what I could, although that is really fun, vintage. I wonder what something like that would sell for. I don't know. It's four foot in the I might grab that as well. And I think on that note, I'm probably gonna skedaddle. Exciting. Oh, look. I don't think he was here earlier, was he? Maybe he was, and I missed him. 249 on the little guy. Stick him in there as well. <laughs> Playing his instruments. I do have to put the dog back now that we're circling back to the figurines. I'm going to put the puppy dog back on the shelf because he's got that damaged leg. That's 449. That's a vintage lighter. That's pretty neat looking. And into shoe. And a shore sculpture. No signatures on that. Occasionally I'll pick those up when they have a signature on them. Alright. I think that's it for me at this goodwill. I'm going to move on to the next one. I don't know if I need this little amber dish though. 349. Uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, it's pretty. I think I've sold that before actually. Here we are at checkout. Uh, she ran to get a box for me, but I just wanted to show you what I grabbed out of the cart because it was kind of like a speed round. Um, I did grab this fish. This is likely, oh, I was going to say likely made in China. It's actually marked made in China with a sticker right there. Um, but sometimes when um, Shelby processes stuff in the water, those come off. So um, it is made in China there. We got the goose. There is a little bit of a crack around the neck. This was $6.49. Pretty neat looking goose. They're probably contemporary. I don't see any markings or signatures. Made in Indonesia. It has a sticker there. Um, what else did we grab out of then? Oh, this art pottery. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm a sucker for mugs. That's a nice looking mug, too. Good mug. Um, and this uh, English... Is that an English hobnail? Kind of. It's like a little bit of an English hobnail. And a lighter you saw me pick up. That looks like a gold filled. So that's all we got today. I guess I got back to you guys in the car with a total, but I'm pretty happy with that. It took me a while to get it all. I think I've been here at least an hour. <laughs> that's, a, that's, you know, my typical... It's, it was probably... Oh, look, it's a Cupid squirrel. Although Cupies usually have blue wings. This one has green wings. I didn't realize that was supposed to be a Cupie. There you go. All right, I'll get back to you guys in the car. Okay, well, our total spend there at the Frederick... West Patrick Street Goodwill was $49 and I feel like we did all right. I, f I feel like I redeemed myself slightly for the day that I had been having. Um, now I have brought you guys to the Middletown Goodwill. Um, so I'm going to head in here and see what I can find smaller so I don't think we'll be here very long but I'm hopeful I'm hopeful I'm feeling hopeful <laughs> so let's head in and see what we can find here we go I think that's made of wood all right I'm gonna skid around this way and let's check over here this paper weight is still here I was here last week the shelves are more full than they had been. What is this? $2.49. I guess that's a candle holder. Does it say on the bottom? Glass vase. Three hands cork made in China. Hmm. I guess made to look vintage. Here is a threaded vase with a broken thread on it. That's heavy like crystal. It is a reproduction bank. Let's see what it says on here. Every child deserves a little Christmas toys for tots. Token on there, $9.49. This one actually has a made in China sticker on there. I see a lot of people picking up these um, reproduction banks thinking that they are actually vintage and they are not. 
No, that's definitely reproduction. Let's see here. This is neat. Four forty nine a month. This is adorable. <laughs> I feel like I picked that up last week. My goodness, if only we had the stopper. Wouldn't that be amazing? I just bought a few of these without the stoppers the other day. And I'm like, do I need another one without a stopper? Hmm, I don't know if I do. And then the other part of me is like, maybe I'll stick it in there and maybe the stopper will turn up, but I'm doubtful. I don't know. They sell for like 30 to 40 bucks without the stopper. That's why I'm like, uh, I already have two without a stopper. Also, she's creepy. Hoping there'd be a stopper over here, but there's no such luck. This kind of looks like a stopper, but it's a bottle. <laughs> like, oh, stopper? No, even though it's clear. Unlikely. This is the neat art pottery picture here. 9.49 on that. There is a marking on the bottom. A stamp. It's a Penhurst pottery. Something, something. Maybe that's something good. I mean, it's got a stamp and it has a signature. Charles Lisk or Lusk, 949. So good, it gets two Goodwill stickers. I'm curious what the first Goodwill sticker says. I also want to come over here and look at this. I just want this 80s, um, 1980. Oh, this is 1992, it's not quite 1980s. Some of this 1980s. 1992 uh, plates. They can sell pretty well on eBay. I don't know though. Those aren't like dinner plates. We need dinner plates. There's a vintage ginger jar, very 1970s. I like that about it. It's $7.49. I'm not usually into the ginger jars, but I like that one. I'll stick it in there. A marking on the bottom too. Wow, that's a really heavy lid. That is a chip and crack on it though. So I'm not gonna mess with that. These are cool in the back. What are those? Let's grab them. <laughs> it's a pepper grinder and a salt shaker. I wonder if they still have the salt and pepper in there. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. They're kind of cool looking. I don't know though. I just don't know how sanitary it is. My muse. Um, I don't know. You know, you know why though? <laughs> because after we did the hoarder house, um, that was just, just, that was really gross. And they collected pepper grinders. And I remember finding all these pepper grinders in the nastiness that was that house and now I look at pepper grinders and I just I'm taken back to all the raccoon feces and stuff and I just I don't know if I can do it sorry that was probably TMI but I just can't do the pepper grinders anymore is this silver probably not what is it what is it though 249 party light tell you what party light has been getting me a lot lately a lot more than it used to. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. This is neat. I can't tell if that was spray painted or not. Mm, fresh cart. Plastic. I don't like plastic. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not really seeing a whole lot on the cart for resale, but I did find this. And I think that Laurel would like this. I'm gonna grab this for Laurel. And I think that's it for me. I'm gonna get out of here. Shouldn't have come over into the artwork. I just need, I need to stop my, I need to like, just be like, Jocelyn, stop it. Don't do it. But this is a watercolor. It's a hunt scene. I normally don't pick up hunt scenes. It's just not my thing. I'm not into it. I know some of my viewers probably are, but it's just not my thing. I've never really been into that sort of thing. But this is $12.49 as a watercolor. And I feel like it's pretty decent watercolor. It's 1950. 
Oh wait, it's actually mentioned on the back. What does it say? Medium. Table tea writ tinted. Huh. Allen Picture Frame Company. I don't know. I think I've told you guys before that they have some really great artwork that shows up here. And I think because just driving through this town, they have some really nice big houses. And I think, I think that there's some wealthy people that live around here with fancy artwork and obviously fancy stuff. I found those really cool um, perfume bottles and vanity set. Yeah, I've, I've found some really decent stuff here in the past. I think that's probably why. So I'm going to take this with me. I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. And here we are. Oh, great. Our little spin there at Middletown was $39. Very excited about my stoneware pitcher. I think that's going to do well. I think that was the most excitement. <laughs> Although the watercolor is quite nice. We have to do a little research on that. All we've got is initials and a date, but that could be good as well. Those hunt scenes, I don't know. That's like a popular thing. That's something that like, that like ritzy high to do people do. They go out and they fox hunt, it's a thing. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm going to head on home. Andrew is putting a lasagna in the oven. So that's what's for dinner. Anyway, I guess I'll stay out for you tomorrow. So. I know it's nothing new. It is so good to see